Hey hello guys, welcome along to a video. Um, I thought I should make a, a kind of update video, an update kind of vlog type video. I was looking back and um, I've not put any videos up for about a month now. Um, so I've had a, an extended kind of holiday away from YouTube. Now that it was never the intention to do that, I hadn't fallen out of fallen out with YouTube. But, you know, I wasn't pissed off or anything or anything like that. It just so happens that <coughs> just never had time to make videos. Um, I don't know. Just that's just what it is. So I thought I'd do an updated video. Let these guys know what's happening. What's happening in my collection? Quick thoughts about the E13, E3, 2013, I should say. Let's get that right. And um, yeah, so like I said, it was never an intention to have this kind of period away from YouTube. Um, you know, it wasn't a case I felt I needed to take a break or anything like that. It wasn't planned. It just so happens that, you know, I was kind of been busy quite a lot of work. And I suppose, um, trying to find the time and effort to put videos in. I mean, I wanted to make videos and I've actually, actually recorded videos. Um, like, I mean, I'm still collecting for my Xbox 360. I've got a pile of games downstairs. Over 20 games I've got for the Xbox 360 that I've not shown yet. And uh, twice I've made videos of those pickups when they were, you know... 12 games, I think I made a video and just never done it. And then I've got some more games, and so I've done it, I've redone it again, but these extra games added on top, and now I've got more games. Uh, I've got a pile of PlayStation 3 games that I've not shown you. I've got some retro games back here, which I've not even shown you. So I've got all these videos to make. I've still, and I've totally forgot that I had put up a question and answer video and asked these guys to ask questions, which you did. And I'd never ever made that video. That was for like a thousand subscribers special. So I'm, I need to go back and get that because I just remembered that. Totally forgot about it. Um, and get that made. Um, you would have seen in my last video I got the uh, Last of Us. You know, you know me, I don't buy brand new games. Um, but, you know, this was a game I pre-ordered. And I'd, I was lucky enough to go to a, a demo night at my local game store. So the Sony guy came with five, six pods, five pods with the game set up and I was lucky enough to have a shot at it then and you know I'd done some footage, captured some footage, I wish I'd captured more actually but captured some footage so they liked my last video so they, I never even done any talking in the videos um, and I'd pre-ordered it so what, but what had happened is based me and my father-in-law Kenny we had pre-ordered the game and, um, and at the time he had asked about the special edition, the early edition well, they said they were getting the the only edition they were getting in was the early edition, and they have sold it. They're only getting half a dozen, and they were pre-ordered already months ago, or whatever, previous couple of months. So that was it. We were just getting the normal edition until we went down Friday morning, and lo and behold, he had already been up before and put money down and was getting an early edition, which now I've got in my my possession. So, because obviously I bought the normal edition. He got the early edition. He knows I like all these kind of... Because um, I'd say to him, you know, if I could maybe get one, I'll get it. Maybe if somebody doesn't pick it up. Um, so anyway, I've got the early edition in my my possession. And um, I've played two hours of the game. When I got it, though, my kids were about. And um, my wife was about, and me and him were trying to play it. And it's no so good when there's fuck about. Um, so I've, I've put two hours into it. Really, really fantastic. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, that right, right off of the start, it's absolutely gorgeous game, and um, and I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, it's only a couple of hours into it though, but I'm really, really enjoying it, and um, and I've also got the Beyond Two Souls pre-ordered as well. So that's the other game I'll be buying brand new, which doesn't come out till later on in the year. Um, And obviously I'm an Xbox man. I watched the Xbox presentation, the announcement before E3, and um, I noticed that folk were going absolutely crazy, um, making all these videos. And I'd I've been watching kind of videos. I've not been that much um, involved with YouTube, watching a lot of videos and commenting, but I've still watched the odd video. 
and um, you know I watched a few videos there people are going crazy about the Xbox One but that's when they only had they only showed you what it could do with the TV showed you a couple of wee games and that was it folk were still going crazy because all these rumours were gone round and I had kind of made a few comments saying like you just wait till E3 um, wait till we hear for the official guys then we can moan about it or complain or whatever but until then eh, just sit back and wished and um, but then obviously we all know what happened at E3 um, so I didn't understand why. I mean, it's just weird because I mean I'm, I've I've not got a clue how businesses work. Okay, I've not got a clue. I've never worked in a business. I've never owned any businesses. I don't know how businesses work. In the sense that <laughs> I've watched The Apprentice, and you know you try and buy low, you sell high. That's basically you try and make money, right? But I've I've not got any experience. I've not got any. I work with people. I work, you know, in social work. That's what I do. Um, but it just seems to me that even though Microsoft will have all these super experts on their you know in their team and all these you know, think tanks, groups of people that are super super intelligent, they seem to be making this massive huge mistake. And I just kind of seem to I don't know why they're on doing that road, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I, I was kind of gutted when we heard all the official because it, it was all just rumours about the Xbox, you know, about these pre owned games. And I still think that that's going to change because the backlash that they're getting. Um, but I mean, I, I've loved the original Xbox, I loved the, the Xbox 360, it's one of my favourite consoles ever. And I'm totally gutted that, you know, because I'll not be putting an order in for the new Xbox One. I mean, the price has put me off. I mean, the price is a big put off right away. The fact that they're, you're having to buy the Kinect, it's like, wait a minute. Uh, that's what's putting the price up, is this Kinect that they've given everybody. That It's like, well, you have to have this Kinect. It's like, well, wait a minute, surely it's your choice if we want to have the Kinect or not. I mean... I've got the Kinect for the Xbox 360, but it was my choice. It wasn't thrown down your throat that you have to buy it. The fact that this rumour is going to be, although this Major Nelson, whatever his name is, the press guy that works for Microsoft on his Twitter and that, but the, the fact that if you get banned on Xbox Live, then that console's totally useless. You can't play any games. And it just seems, that's ridiculous. Added on top of this other stuff that the um, the letting publishers decide about the pre-owned games and all this stuff that even the fact that the the Xbox is going to check in every twenty four hours to make sure that you're not playing any um, copied games or you know you've borrowed a game it's just ridiculous that I mean my console's connected all the time anyway but it's not the point it's like and of course PlayStation or um, Sony are just playing on that. So they came out and said, like, you know, you buy a game from us, you can do what you want with that game, whether you get to a friend or you sell it, or whatever you do, it's your game. And it just, I don't know why Microsoft are, are going down that road, and it just makes, it just seems stupid and silly, and they're going to lose a lot, a lot of money. And I think it will change it. The publishers are going to have to realise that, because I mean, the publishers are not going to be making, you know, you know, whatever costing five million to make a game for the Xbox six the, the Xbox One and nobody's buying it. You know, it's only selling whatever half a million copies because nobody's got an Xbox One, everybody's got a PlayStation 4. So I don't think the publishers will then charge you charge you because it's just I'm gutted though. I'm gutted because I'm an Xbox man, eh? And um I mean to I've already made I'd already made my mind up that I wasn't buying the consoles on day one anyway. Um, I've just I've never I've never been like that. I don't need to have new consoles on day one. I mean, the worst time to buy a console is on day one, um, because it's a new piece of machinery, and if something will go wrong, that will go wrong with the first lot, the first batches of of consoles that come out. You've not got the games. The people that are making the games for it, okay, they might look better, but they're only that wee bit better than what you're getting new and um, you know we're seven going into the eighth year new with xbox 360 
So the games that they've brought out now, I mean, take The Last of Us, for, for example. The Last of Us, absolutely gorgeous looking game. If you looked at a game six years ago, you know what I mean? It's only because they've had all these years of working on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 6 that they're able to get every single last bit of juice out of it. So the games, the first lot of games out in these new consoles, they're not going to be as good as the second lot, the third lot. So I can wait a year. Easy. I'm still happy with my PlayStation 3. I'm still happy with my Xbox Series 60. I've still got a ton of games. There's still a ton of games to come out for the consoles. Um, but I am, I'm, I'm gutted with the, the Xbox news and because it's put me off. And um, and if I was choosing, I'd be buying a PlayStation 4. Um, you know what I mean? But I'm not be buying it day one. That's for, that's for sure. Um, and I'm not going to do this. I see all these comments. A lot of comments are, oh, I'm going to go to PC, I'm going to PC. and um, PC's different, even though... You get... I'm, 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 I've got PC games. I'm on Steam. I've got 120, 130 games on Steam. And okay, they're all digitally downloaded. You've got to be connected to the internet. But a lot of the games were bought, you know, three and three and four pound each. They were cheap, and I'm talking about the good games that cost me three and four pound. You know, Mafia Two. Um, I got Mass Effect One for like two pound or something, and um, Civilizations Four and Five for like a couple of pound each. Um, your Total War games, and you know, it was cheap. You know, I wouldn't be buying, you know, because you, you're buying Xbox games or eventually if you want to buy download digital games, they're, they're charging you the same amount of money. And also, with Xbox is um, with this future, because they obviously they need, uh, 24 hours they need to come in and check and authenticate your Xbox One and authenticate all your games. And that's what they're saying, what happens in 20 years down, down the road? You know what I mean? I've got a Super Nintendo there, I've got a Mega Drive there, I could just switch that on, put a game on that I was playing 20, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. What's going to happen with Xbox One? You're going to bring out your Xbox One, play a bit of retro, oh wait a minute, Xbox can't authenticate your games, you can't play any of your games. It's like, wait a minute, that's... It has to get sorted out, it's just... Not on. Beautiful looking games though, beautiful looking games that are on the E3. Um, a lot of good games coming out. Um, but I'm excited to the games that are coming out for the Xbox 360 and the, and the PlayStation 3. You know what I mean? I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah, so I'm waffling here because I never had a plan. I kind of knew what I wanted to say in this video and I'm kind of waffling so I'm jumping all over the place. But um, I'm going to make an effort at getting myself back on track um, on YouTube, get myself back in and... Um, get these videos made that I should have had up, these questions, get them all answered um, and get my games shown. I've got a lot of games, I can put retro games back here, which I've bought, you know, Xbox, the GameCube games. I've got them all to show and, um, and obviously for my Xbox 360, but I'm still going for them, still quite happy collecting for that. Um, you know, I don't need to, I've not got a feeling though of having to keep going out and buying and buying and buying and buying and buying and buying. I've seen videos with the um people you that were gone for collections and they're quite negative against <laughs> Xbox New and all this pressure on you. It's like, well, don't you put the pressure on you? Why would you put the pressure on yourself to collect games if you do what I did do it? Who says you've got to buy keep buying games month after month after month after month? Because I certainly don't. I mean, I, I go down and I'll see games there cheap. And if I can't be bothered by them, I'll just not buy them. I'm no... I don't put pressure on myself um, to keep buying games, to keep showing them on, on, on YouTube because I need something to show. Rubbish, that's... I do this because it's fun and I like the interaction. That's all it is. And um, if I make a decision to do something, I'm just sharing it. I'm not... I never made that decision because of YouTube, I made that decision by myself and if, if YouTube wasn't here I'd still be doing that. You know what I mean, I've no changed that. Um, I've no changed myself to suit YouTube. I'm just involving you guys in what I'm doing, that's all I'm doing, I'm no... So it's like, no, no. Um, I did see the point in coming on YouTube and being 
negative and you know destructive and you know what I mean and arguments that I keep you know if I watch read comments and folk are thinking back it's like just chill it you know what I mean just chill if you do watch if you didn't want to watch certain videos then you watch them um you know what I mean everybody's got something to offer um right okay rant over that was neat. <laughs> it was the other place. I'm all the place, but hopefully, I just wanted to say hiya. I'm still here. I'm still doing what I'm doing, and um, but I'm gonna make sure that I film it and involve you guys even more to let you know what I'm doing. And um, aye, does that make sense? <laughs> okay, then cheers. Till next time. Thanks.